Hi, welcome to the House of Fire, home of Low Pie and uh, Fireplace X. My name is Scott Abley. I am the training manager here at the factory. And uh, today we're gonna be talking about how to start your wood stove. Now, we know you guys all know how to start wood stoves, right? If we were to give you any of these um, pieces of wood over here from the smaller pieces, the fire starters, even some of the larger pieces, right? We know you would put the, put the wood in the stove, start small, go big, get that draft established. We know you can know how to start a wood stove, right? But we're gonna talk about the Green Start Igniter System which you find in our low pie and FPX wood burning appliances. And so with that green start, we're gonna, we're gonna show you how that process works, how you stack the wood in the stove and how you get the stove going. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. All right, so here we are. I'm standing next to our new 2020 low pie Liberty next gen appliance. It's a wonderful appliance. And we're gonna go through and point out some of the features of this appliance in relation to how to start your fire. The first one we're gonna talk about is our air control, which is found right down here on this left-hand leg. This air control, when you have it pushed in, it's gonna be in the closed position. When you pull it out, it's in the open position. What do I mean by that? What I mean is the air control controls the primary air that goes into the appliance. In other words, your burn rate. So the, the more it's open, the more air is gonna go into the appliance and the faster the wood is gonna burn. So during startup, which is what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna leave this open. Once the fire's established and you wanna control how much heat the appliance puts out, how fast the fire burns, you would either open or close this based on what your needs are. The second feature is gonna be your bypass. Now the bypass, which on this appliance is found right here, um, what it does is it basically is it gonna, it's gonna bypass what's called the baffle. The baffle sits in the top of the appliance and by bypassing it, in other words, by opening it up like we've just done now, it allows the heat to get into the chimney quicker. And I say heat, what I really mean is the smoke. So as you have fire going in here, when you, especially when you first start it, and you're trying to get that, that heat and that smoke to go more into the chimney, to get the chimney warm, to establish that draft, you wanna have this open. So basically, there's two times you want the bypass open. One, when you're starting the appliance, like we're gonna be doing next, and the other is when you're reloading wood. And the, the purpose is, is that when you go to reload wood, you wanna make sure that every, all the smoke that's in the stove is moving toward the back of the appliance and straight up the chimney. So you would open this up prior to opening your door Otherwise, when you open the door, if this is closed, you potentially might be getting some smoke that rolls out of the front of the stove, which obviously isn't very pleasant. So we wanna open the bypass first, let that sit there for a few seconds prior to opening the door, then you can open the door, reload the wood. Now, on your particular appliance, it, these, these, the bypass and the air control might be somewhere different, so always refer to your owner's manual so you know exactly where to look to find that on your stove. So what's next? We're gonna load some wood into the stove and show you exactly how the green start works. So here we are, nice and close and personal with our low pie Liberty. We're getting ready to uh, put the firewood in there and get it going, show you guys exactly how this goes in. So I've got all my supplies here in front of me. I've got my, um, my fire starting supplies that I'm gonna need, obviously for green start, or do I really need them? So I've got a lighter, I don't need that. How about some fire starters? Don't need those, crumpled up newspaper. That's something of the past. How about some fat wood? Those are really popular. Nope, don't even need those. What we really need, just sort of some smallish pieces of wood. We're gonna put several of those right in there, right next to the igniter, pile in some other wood on top of it, and it'll be good to go. So we're gonna start by taking some of our uh, smaller pieces, like I mentioned before. So we're just gonna take a bundle like this and we're gonna put it right up against the igniter. And we're doing that because it's actually, the air that comes out of that igniter is just gonna follow that trail of these smaller logs and we want them to get, uh, get lit first. So we're just gonna stack them in here like this and we're gonna stack some other pieces around it. And at this point, once we have that fire started that's gonna start with those smaller pieces, we're just gonna stack it in here in such a way that we have some air space. Wood really likes to have you know, air space around it so that it lights better. So we're just gonna stack it up like this. And look, I've got some pretty good sized pieces. We're gonna get a real fire in here. And I'm gonna leave this area right here in front of the igniter, I'm gonna leave that open so you can actually see what that fire looks like when it gets started. but we're gonna uh, stack this in here. And the thing about what's coming out of that igniter, it's really, it's basically superheated air. It's 1400 degrees. And so with that 1400 degree air, we're really gonna get a good fire going in here. How about, how about that? I think, I think it'll, there you go. So now we can actually see, the, see where the fire's gonna get started. And at this point, our next step is to push the button and watch the excitement happen. So closing our door, making sure it's latched securely, uh, make sure the bypass is open, our air control is open. Now, one note on the bypass, we have a bypass on all of our low pie stoves and FPX fireplaces with the exception of the answer. 
but all the others, that's our exclusive feature, the bypass that's gonna be open, air control's open. Now it's igniter time, let's go. So now we have uh, started the igniter. Uh, so this process, I mean, it could take anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple minutes, uh, but here pretty quickly, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see um, some sparks, you're gonna see the igniter um, actually starting to light the wood. So there's compressed air right now. There's actually a pump box that sits underneath the stove. That pump box is pushing out about six cubic feet of air a minute. And uh, what that's doing is that's actually, again, it's compressed air, it's coming through the igniter element, which is protected because it sits behind the firebox. And so with that protection, you don't really have to worry about the wood damaging the igniter, anything like that. And um, right now, you know, we've been going into this about 30 seconds or so. The igniter's now glowing red, 1400 degrees. That compressed air is coming out. We should start seeing some action here in just a minute. Now, one of the other things, because of that compressed air, one of the other things that this does is, so the igniter runs for seven minutes, but it, the whole cycle itself is 15 minutes. Um, and as you can see, there's some smoke going. So during the seven minutes, the igniter's on, those last eight minutes of this cycle, it's just air. And so it's just gonna keep feeding air to the fire to really, really get it going, like a bellows. So the next thing that, that you can also do with this igniter that's a little bit different is if you push that button twice, when you push that button twice, you can actually not use the igniter and just use the bellows feature. And we call that our refresh feature. On the refresh feature, what that does is this, if you wake up in the morning, you've got a bed of coals, something like that, you wanna put some fresh wood on there, but you don't really need the igniter, but it's nice to get that air. We can use that bellows feature. So you push the button twice, the air's gonna run for 15 minutes, get your fire going. Um, just another way to use your igniter on this, uh, on this green start ignition system. So it's gonna to continue to feed fresh air to the fire, get it going, and you know what? Anybody could do this, right? If you already had the stove loaded up and you wanted to get somebody else to uh, start the stove for you, another family member, they'd come by, push the button, get the stove going. We've kept the store closed the whole time, right? So it's really safe uh, to start the stove this way. So if you'd like to add this optional green start uh, to your stove, talk to your local hearth dealer. If you don't already own a Lopi appliance, again, talk to that local Lopi um, hearth dealer or uh, Fireplace X dealer We'd love you to get one of our appliances into your home. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video with me. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a great day.